Hello everyone, welcome back to Flying Princess Plays Final Fantasy IX. Okay, so last episode we met Iko, our new friend. We learned a lot about her and that she lives with Moogles and that she's an orphan and that she's a summoner and she can use some magic too, like Bayonet. And now we are at the Ifa Tree and we expect to see Kuja there. What we see in there, let's find out. Oh, we also have to, you know, break open the seal too. <laughs> Alright. Ifa, the ancient tree of life. There's mist here. So this place really must be the source of the mist. Oh. You okay? I I'm fine. Whoa. What was that? That was the seal. It shouldn't hurt you, but are you alright? Yeah, it didn't hurt. Oh man, my man. <laughs> uh, let's ask the lady. Did you say they used the power of an Eidolon to steal the place? Amazing. How do you break it? I'm going to ask the Eidolon to come back. The Summoner's Horn allows us to communicate with Eidolons and wild animals. I'll break the seal now. Watch. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. By the light of our spirits, I call upon thee. Answer my call. Wherever your soul may be. Ruby. Ooh. Finished! We can go inside now. Thanks. Was that the spell to break the seal? Nope. All I do is focus my thoughts into my horn. Then why were you... That was just for show. The spell is actually much longer, but the idol asked me to hurry it up. I didn't hear anything. Alright, let's go. So as you guys can see, we got the ruby, which means that we can learn Carbuncle, which is a, which is a summon. But um, we'll put that on later. She still hasn't learned Finier right away. What's this? Looks old. I wonder who built it. This way! Hey, are you alright? Uh, aren't you guys scared of heights? Gosh, you look so helpless. Why don't you stay here and let us handle the rest? No, I'm going with you guys. I have to. Then don't leave my side, okay? Okay, thanks. Iko, do you know anything about this place? Nope, this is my first time inside the Ifa Tree. This place looks ancient. Let's, uh, once again, ask Iko. She knows the- she's smart about this place. What do you think, Iko? Maybe try standing on it? Alright then. Ziding. I'll be fine, don't worry. Here it comes again. It works. I'm gonna see where it takes me. I'll call you guys over if everything's alright. I'm coming with you. Me too. Me too. Okay, well, I'll go. We're a team here. Ugh, this place does not look friendly. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, push. Aha! Yes! Woo! Okay, it's not much, but it's still something. Let's see. Oh, treasure. Get this here.
And this. Everything up there looks withered. This place looks totally different. It's so bright, I can't see the bottom. Ooh, it's shiny and glowy right there. I guess we should try to get to the bottom of this. Ah, get the bottom of this, because they're getting the bottom, and that's like those, you know, it's a kind of a pun. Ah, I'm sorry. Never mind. He's hiding! I found something here! Hmm... Maybe it'll move like the last one. It didn't move when I got on! You stood on it? Well... Why don't we all try getting on? When I got on, I felt it respond. I guess we're in luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! It sure freaked me out at first, but there's no wind or anything. I guess that glowing powder is stopping the wind somehow. You okay, Bayonet? Yes. I wonder where we're going. Yeah. Me too. Maybe Ma could tell us something. What do you feel here inside the ivy tree? Kupo! Kupo? Kupo Popo! Really? Kupo! Alright, thanks. Kupo Popo! Well, what's the word? Um, Mox says there's a lot of light beneath us. Mughals are fairies, so they sense life everywhere, but Mox says there's a lot here. I wonder if agents of Kuja are down there. But what's the connection between Kuja and the mist? Incoming! There are so many strange monsters here in the Ifa tree. Could the mist be cousining it? Beats me. The evil forest and Gargan grew have unique monsters too. But if the mist comes from this tree, how come it only appears on Zidane's continent? I guess there has to be something that channels the mist. Yes, but the question is why? Zidane? Hmm? What's the matter? Vivi? What's wrong, Vivi? You've been lost in thought for a while. Oh, Zidane, I've been thinking about the mist. Do you remember the factory we saw in Dali? Yes, the factory of black mages were being made? Huh? Black mages? They look a lot like Phoebe. Bayonet. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay, I'm not upset anymore. About being made and everything. Phoebe. Anyway, that factory had a lot of mist inside, right? Oh yeah. There was a huge machine filled with mist. That's right. And there were those strange eggs we saw. There's gotta be a connection between the mist Kuja and the black mages. I'm so confused. Another one's headed this way! Hey, I can finally see the bottom. It's so deep. I don't know what's down there, but we'll soon find out. Come with me! Are you gonna make a helpless little girl like me go all by herself? Wait, there might be some monsters lurking there. Say Zidane. Mox said he sensed light down here. Do you sense anything? Yeah, but you sense it too, don't you? We don't even need Mock to tell us that there's light down here. You're right. I can tell there's something down here. Oh, it's all quiet.
What could this be? It could be plant, but it also looks like a machine. Machine? What do you mean machine? Well, it sure doesn't look like a normal tree. Yeah, it's weird enough that the inside of the tree looks like this. Hmm. Ah, gotta get that treasure here. Nice. Something here. Ooh, nice. I was a little scared. So, that sparkling water is a living thing? It's so pretty. Aw, oh, I'm hurt. You can see the sparkling water down below. It's really pretty. Maybe the mist comes from that water down there. So, if the other tree is the source of the mist... Okay, I'll watch it with you now. Right. Is it moving? Just my imagination. So much for Kuja. None of his lackeys are here either. Or maybe we have to go down there. I definitely sent something down there. Siding! What's up? Moxing! Something's coming from above! From above? Brainette, come down here now! Ah! Brainette! Are you alright? I'm sorry. I was just startled. Is something wrong? Over here! Over there! Oops. It's them. We better go too. Can you stand? Yes, let's go. Look, the wall's moving! You're right. It's like it's alive. Eco Vivi. Siding, the wall's shaky faster. It's here. What was that? So it wasn't Kuja. Huh, what's going on? I can't hear a voice inside my head. You just said Kuja. Where is he? I do not know. What are you doing here? Are you the one who makes the mist? It is not produced. Mist is byproduct of refining process. It is discharged for the roots. Discharged? So, it's sent to other continents for the roots, right? But why? Why would you do that? I contaminate the other continents with mist to simulate the fighting instinct. This in turn leads to war among the leaders of nations, and then the fall of civilization. That's crazy. Kuja merely put byproduct into a different use. A different use? What is Kuja trying to do? I cannot lie. Kuja used the waste product to make weapons. Weapons like yourself. He's really taking me off. Can I kill him? Wait, Iko, what kind of weapons did Kuja make? Kuja called them Black Mages, Dark Spawn of the Mist. So the factory in Dali was really... Defeat me and no more mist will flow. And then no more weapons like this puppet here will be made. Answer me, puppet. Do you deny your very birth? Why you? No more. Baby? I won't let you make any more instruments of murder. Way to go, Bibi. I know it must be hard for you. We can knock off this rat now, right? Alright, let's bust him up. Who knows? He might even lure Kuja here. I've seen the end of my thousand year life, and it is not now. You cannot stop me. It is futile to even try. Yeah, buddy, but uh, it's, it's time. And I can tell you guys, this tree, Doofus, is is such a big joke. He's the biggest joke in the whole entire, like, game of all the bosses. He's the biggest joke, and you wanna know why? 
You want you want to find out why? I'll show you. I just hope no one dies here. No. Okay. Hang on a second. You just have to cast life. There. Done. End. <laughs> He's dead. There. See how easy that was? Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so he's probably the easiest boss in the whole entire game. All you have to do is cast life on him. He's not that scary. Yeah, it's all nice and clear and beautiful. The air's so clear. The Ifa tree looks so pretty now. Will this clear up your miscontinent? I think so. Now let's see if Kuja shows up. Vivi? Ziding, did I do the right thing? It's said that black mages are made from mist, right? When I thought about how other black mages were being made for war, I didn't want that to happen, no matter what. Now there'll be no more new black mages. I think they'll all hate me. No way! Listen to me. You should never lie to yourself. After all, your brothers wouldn't want you to do that. Do you really think so? Do you think they'll understand? Of course, they're your brothers. It'll be all right. Huh? What is it, Mok? Moko? Eco! What's the matter? Why did you come all this way? No way! Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'll go on ahead and tell the others. You guys are going to wait here for Kuja, right? I gotta go back to the village. Wait, Iko, what's up? Someone stole something precious from the village. Siding. We'll go with you, Iko. Thanks, but what about Kuja? Medane's reason that far. He can wait. I'm home! I'm home! Moko, tell me the news, are you alright? Come now, talk later, Kubo! Hey, Iko. We better follow her. What's going on, Iko? It's... it's... The precious stone that has been passed down in this village for generations is gone. My grandparents said... They said that we should take care of it because of us, it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. Well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown-up now, and crying won't help one bit. Alright, how about we stop looking for clues? I'll help too. Is it... Is it my fault? Is it because I broke my promise and opened the Ipa Tree seal? Everyone, everyone was watching over the stone. Iko. 
It just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So, let's just look for some clues and get the stone back, okay? Okay. I wasn't going to cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. We know, Ego. But if you feel like crying, just cry. I'm going to pray to my grandparents. I'll be right back. If you need to, you can cry too, Bayonet. My shoulder's always available. Yeah, thanks. What about you, Zidane? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clingy when I'm sad. Cut it out. Hey, I was serious. Ah! I heard a scream. It sounded like Eco. Damn it, the thief is still here. Exciting, I saw her. It's the girl from Fossil Roo. She took Eco. They went to the eat along wall. Let's go. What should I do, Kubo? What should I do, Kubo? What should I do, Kubo? Another hornless human. She better not be in league with you. Say, Eco, Kubo. Look what happened to Eco. The answers will be displeased. Tell us if there's anything we can do for you, Kubo. Uh, let's speak. This is no way to treat a lady! What's with this wing ornament on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me! Get your grubby hands off of it! Oh, shut up. Just be still until he gets here. Yay! I found treasure, Kupo! Use it for eco, Kupo! Will do. Tell us if there's anything we can do for you, Kupo. Where's Mog? Was Mog captured too? No, Mog is right here behind me. He's so tiny and he's just a little precious little bit. Kupo! Mog, I need your help to save Eko. Kupo! I got an idea. It's all right. You won't be in any danger. Kupo. It's no use. Mark has always been a coward. Yeah. Well, we gotta do something. Let's go save her, guys. All right, let's go. Well, so there's my good sir knight. What have you done to Eko? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? Then she's probably sleeping well. If it's my pennant you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can do. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant, and I'll hand over the girl, capiche? What happened to the pendant that you always have on? I have it. Oh! You really are a good knight. Now cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Braun is after the royal pendant. I found another jewel just like it in this village. I'm glad I came all this way looking for it. Now hand it over. If only Iku was conscious. Hold on. You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there. You, Black Mage. Huh? Me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. Exciting. Do it, BB. Okay. Hold it. Ah! I don't know who you are, but thanks. Uh. Yo, can you stand? Huh? What's going on? 
Where's that old hag? Oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You. So the tables turn. Now hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. I'm not here to help. I just want to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job. I don't work with hostage taking scumbags, now get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Mark my words, I'll collect the bounty on you someday. Now fight me. Just a second here, what's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough. Let's do it. Siding? It's okay. I was just looking for more ways to impress you. Here we go. Okay, better not die. Okay. Probably not, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's do... Solution 9, baby. Let's tear him down. Solution 9! Kill this bitch. It probably won't kill him, but I'm praying here. We got a fuck ton of damage, though. Come on. Stop moving around. Alright, that turn. Let's die again. Solution 9. easy. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. I lost? Go on, finish me. Can you stand? Give back what you stole. Thank you. Nico, I got back. Now finish me. You want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish me then? You can go if you want. I won't follow you. Ha <laughs> ha, trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? We got back what was stolen from us after all. Listen to you. I lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle didn't kill that win. Man, god, crazy guy. Keep that in a safe place. I will. Thanks, Zidane. Well? You're not going to leave me alone after what just happened, are you? Huh? I'm going! Shall we? She's been quiet the whole time. Siding, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys. I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? Uh, yeah. I want you around. I'll agree if that's what you want. Iko, come with us. Forget about what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made your mind. 
Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Remember what you taught me at the Ifa Tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Eko. Hmm. I forgot my own advice, Vivi. Thanks. I'll wear the jewel as an earring. It'll be okay then, right, Zaidang? <laughs> Memory earring. Eko? I think Mog wants to talk to you. Kyoto. Kyoto! What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious. You went off without me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Kyoto. Oh well. Thank goodness we're both alright. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Iko? Well, yeah. We're best friends after all. We were born on the same day, and we were always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Kyoto! This is the one I gave to Mog. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Kyoto! Maybe then, Zaidang, you'll dance with me? Zaidang? I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> wow. I wonder where Baronet went. Let's go look for her. Oh, wait. We were born on the same day, but Iko came out first. Maybe that's why Iko's always been the big sister. Aww. <laughs> I can hear a song. Bayonet? From down there. Bayonet, you there? Ziding. It's okay, keep singing, because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be abandoned. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you? I couldn't have made it to Limblum, much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you, either. Yeah, Vivi and Iko helped out at the Ipa Tree. Queen was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is all right, but sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who's helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Bayonet. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you, either. Each was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why'd you come with me? Hey, that's Espen's line. Espen? Who's that? Espen's a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Espen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Treno. One day, Icefin got a letter. The letter was so wet from the rain that most of the writing was illegible. 
The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set off on his journey home. He walked thousands of leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it, because his friend Colin was by his side. Romance! <laughs> and then, after much time on the road, I had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. <laughs> Shep. Zayde. I. Bennett. Can't you... can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come... who's singing it? The sunset makes the Edelon wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Memories are rising. Ah, and that's what we saw at the beginning of the game, everybody. If you remember. Bayonet! Bayonet, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandra, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I turned six, I must have been here, in Medain Suri. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day, I... I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. That's right, people. A uh, big shocker. Queen Braun is not Garnet's mother. Nope. There's a coat behind Eko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is from Medain Suri, so that's why no one else knows it. How did you get to Alexandra? How come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Talk can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm is on the boat Larsh without in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else. Her true mother was already dead. Bannett has lost two mothers.
I used to pray every day here at the Idalan Wall. You too? You pray here too, Iko? I'm so happy I remembered. Baronet! Welcome home. So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yep, I made up my mind. Siding, Bayonet, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds. But I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Vaynet. Let's go pray together. All right. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kucha and return to Alexandra. Grandpa, I'll be back soon! Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why a long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mark's coming too! Mark! Lady Eco! Now don't forget that you'll always have a home in Majane Suri. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of Idolanwa will always lift your heart. Oh, what's going on? Oh, look who's crawling back. What now? You want more, eh? The victor lives, the defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Well, yeah, I did do trans and it was fucking epic. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Siding? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in the fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Hmm. His only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. We'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm, Lonnie called you Red, right? Not Amarant. Let's go with that. Some call me the Flaming Amarant. Fine, we'll call you Amarant. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. All right, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the Eiffel Tree. Okay, everyone, I think that that's where I'm gonna end things. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, sub to me. That'd be great, I appreciate it. And also I have a playlist of other times I play this game. You can go check that out if you wanna see the other past episodes that you might have missed. And yeah, thanks for watching. I have this server in the description below that you can go talk to me directly if you want to. And yeah, goodbye.